You awake now? Good. I have great news for you. I went ahead and registered your work at the copyright office while you were asleep. Why is that a good reason for you to wake up, you ask? Well, this video is all about the benefits of registering your copyright that you can now take advantage of because of how nice I was. Let me talk you through it, sleepyhead. My name is Courtney, and I'm from New Media Rights, a nonprofit legal clinic that focuses on helping out artists and entrepreneurs with their legal issues. So yeah, we're still talking about copyrights. In our last video, How Do You Get a Copyright?, we delivered the shocking revelation that creators get copyright protection for their work as soon as they create it. But you can also formally register a copyright with the federal government, which is completely optional, but it does have its benefits. Benefit number one. First of all, registering your work means that you have the power to sue when someone infringes on your copyright. To sweeten the deal, having a formally registered copyright means that the trial will be a whole lot faster and easier for you because you don't have to prove that you suffered monetary damage from the infringement. Isn't that grand? Benefit number two. Secondly, you can qualify for statutory damages. Statutory damages are an amount of money that the infringer pays you, which can be between $750 to $150,000, no matter how much profit the infringer made from his or her actions. When you register, you might also be reimbursed for your legal fees. If you're not registered, you could only recover the actual damage that the infringement created, which is always hard to figure out with creative work. After all, copyright infringement trials can be incredibly long and horrifyingly expensive. If you don't have a formal registration, the cost of hiring a lawyer might be more expensive than the amount of money you're trying to recover from an infringer, and that's just annoying. But sometimes you don't even have to go to trial. You might be able to stop an infringer with a cease and desist letter. You can send these without a formally registered copyright, but if you do have one, it gives you a whole lot more credibility. The infringer might stop anyway when he gets a letter, but he'll be even more likely to stop infringing when he gets a letter explaining that he'll have to pay statutory damages. So, at this point, you're probably really curious about registering your work with the Copyright Office, but you're wondering when you should do it. Well, you're in luck because I'm about to tell you. For one thing, you should register before somebody infringes on your copyright so you can better enforce that copyright when it does happen. Otherwise, you should register within three months from the work's first publication date, even if it's already been infringed on. Okay, so you complete the application and send it in. The copyright takes effect the moment the Copyright Office receives your completed application. And by completed, I mean the application itself, the requisite fees, and deposit copies. And remember, I said the moment they receive it. They don't even have to actually approve it for it to take effect. You can register a copyright for a published work or an unpublished work, but if you make any additions or edits to your work, you have to register again and update your application, which means, yep, you have to make another payment. On the bright side, at least you don't need a lawyer to register a copyright. But if you want help, there are lawyers who will be glad to help you. Speaking of help, you should help us. If you're enjoying or at least learning from these videos, why not donate to help us continue making them? You can donate on our YouTube channel or on newmediarights.org. I'm like, what's a synonym for cool? I like, can't even think. Um, Sweet, gnarly. Uh, swag. <laughs>